560, The Answer. I see my name in shiny lights, yeah, a different city every night, oh, I, I swear, the world better prepare for when I'm a billionaire. It's time to get down to business on the weekend's number one business program. Known as the king of networking, your host, Shalom Klein, has worked with thousands of entrepreneurs and created countless jobs. So, to success, let's get down to business. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from my website. The website is ShalomKlein.com. And while you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you won't want to miss. It's a live show. You can call in 312-642-5600. We have a fantastic jam-packed studio here with some great guests. You don't want to miss a minute of it. Uh, so let's get right to it. Um, I am thrilled to be joined by my first guest, my good friend, Bert Levy, um, who, uh, Bert, you have had a, uh, a fascinating career um, which in which uh, studios like this one is no stranger to you. You've been in the media industry for quite some time, including spending 22 years at the Chicago Sun-Times with 14 years of those in senior management as the advertising director for National Entertainment. It's a pleasure to have you, Bert. Thank you. It's, uh, it's great to be here. It's an honor. Okay. Well, Bert, um, you have not only spent a lot of time at the Sun-Times, you've also, we'll talk a little bit about the rest of your career, um, but what I find quite importantly, and the reason I wanted to bring you on um, to the program tonight is you have helped uh, quite a few people um, find their way into the media industry, helping them find uh, their path and their and their career, uh, and and that's no uh, easy feat. So, uh, Bert, I'm curious your secret sauce. Tell us about yourself. Tell us why media has always been of interest to you. Well, um, you know, I started my career at the Sun Times, and uh, what I say today is a byproduct of me starting there. Um, I was blessed to have great bosses, and I think sometimes when you're looking for jobs, it's it, it, it's almost better to have a great boss than it is a great job. Uh, absolutely, the 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 people uh, behind the company are as important as the product uh, itself, and you've certainly discovered that. So, twenty two years of the Chicago Sun Times, fourteen years of those, as we mentioned, the advertising director for National Entertainment. Um, what does that mean? Um, who w- tell us uh, about some of the people that you worked with and the things that you worked on? So, uh, National Entertainment, my core responsibilities was movie studio revenue. Um, Fox, Disney, DreamWorks, Miramax, um, Universal, Paramount, all the studios were my clients. Roger Ebert was my film uh, critic, which was probably the greatest professional gift um, that I've ever had is the opportunity to work side by side with Roger Ebert for all those years. Roger taught me more about life than he taught me about movies, but uh, through movies he taught me about life. And um, it was really the greatest job in the world. Well, Bert, uh, I think for many people, uh, I'll, I'll put myself in, in this mix. Obviously, I, I feel fortunate to now host uh, several programs um, every week. Um, but media is something distant and removed. It's something that a lot of people cannot relate to. Um, they watch TV. They listen to the radio. They they perhaps, perhaps I guess some people still pick up a newspaper. Um, but many people don't understand the people and the personalities behind the scenes. And these are real people. Um, tell, tell us a, a little bit of the behind the scenes action you worked with, again, the brightest and the, and the coolest in the industry. Well, I just remember when, when I first started, I mean, to be able to walk into the Sun-Times and say that Irv Cups in it, Roger Ebert, uh, Bill Zwecker, um, Roger Simon um, were colleagues of mine. So there's two sides of the business. There's the content side, which sure. the, uh, you know, is what's editorial responsible for. And then there's the revenue side, uh, which I worked on for so many years. And um, me helping people get into media came in as a byproduct for me hiring. And what I used to do when I hired is I didn't wait for HR to give me a resume. I went out and kind of find my own, found my own talent. And the way I did it was I spoke at colleges and universities. 
um, across the Midwest, from Illinois, Northwestern, Michigan State, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Illinois was a gold mine for mine. It, for me, it was an, I was an alumni there. They have a but good program. They have a great media program. Um, but what I did is I spoke through the pipeline of the college newspaper. So I knew that I was getting students who were listening to me one level engaged. Um, Bert, I'm listening to your experiences of how you recruited, but I'm also translating in my head of what that means for the students that were trying to network their way in. You're saying that getting involved in the student newspaper, getting involved in, in, in student media, that's a good way to, to, to build your resume. Uh, it's uh, getting practical experience in, in college while you're at school. There's no greater, uh, greater benefit. What else impressed you when you saw it? Because, I mean, I, I talked to a lot of these candidates that are trying to, to vie for a very small number of positions. What makes somebody stand out? What to Burt Levy uh, made an impressive resume? Um, it's, a, it's a great question. I, I had this knack where I could tell in 10 to 15 minutes whether somebody ticks or not. And what it was was I always recruited – I recruited passion, character, and integrity, and I trained for skills. And um, it, when you find somebody with those qualities, those are qualities that I can't teach. And very few professionals can teach integrity, um, character, and passion. In terms of the state of the industry right now, where are the opportunities? And what sort of positions, if you were talking to perhaps a a uh, high school graduate now that's starting to consider his options, his or her options, um, which programs would you recommend? You talked about one of the good ones. Which programs would you recommend, and what area of media is sort of hot and continuing to grow? Um, you know, I came from the revenue side, so I'm always partial to people that are revenue generators, hunters. Um, media outlets are dying for great, great sales talent. So on one hand, the sales talent is uh, always up there. And uh, remember, if you could sell yourself, that's the greatest commodity you will ever have to sell in your life. And if you could sell yourself, you could sell anything. But also on the content side, there you don't need a plat. Before, when, when I started in this business, there were certain platforms, the Sun-Times, the Tribune, Daily Herald, WGN. Those were all platforms. Now you can make your own platform. And it's really all about content. And if you could put phenomenal content on a platform, you can you can you could basically take your audience and monetize it with big brands like Procter and Gamble is a great brand that is always looking for creative ways to reach their audience. Uh, it's fascinating. And uh, are there any? Uh, what I'm getting at is, are there any uh, media uh, categories that are dying that you don't think will be around in the future, and that perhaps a, uh, a aspiring media uh, professional, whether on the revenue or the content side, uh, perhaps should not get into? Well, obviously the hot topic is newspaper. Right. Um, you know, I spent my life there in the newspaper. The Chicago Sun-Times is responsible for so much of what I have in life, so it pains me when I pick up uh, both papers, Tribune, Sun-Times, uh, to see how thin they've gone. Um, uh, circulation has dropped I incredible amounts uh, over the years and but I, I still think if newspapers wrap their arms to get around getting the right people developing great content and communicating that content to the mass market you will drive your audience and I think I'm not saying the brands aren't going to be around right. but I think moving into uh, into the digital world is next Okay, so you've given us a good landscape of the industry. We've got uh, about a minute remaining, and I want to make sure we get your number one tip. Uh, what is that number one tip um, for, uh, for a, a, a media job seeker right now? Um, my number one tip is uh, a great segue to a great book recommendation I have, which is called The Third Door uh, by Alex Banyan. And he equates getting a job with walking through, uh, waiting in line at a bar. That's door number one. 90% of the people do that. Door number two is the VIP door. And door number three is that door where you got to run 1,000 feet down the alley over a dumpster, knock on a window three times, and someone lets you in. It's the creative way to getting a job. Don't do what everyone else does. Oh, be unique. That. Be creative. Um, 
and that's probably my best tip is use the third door. And that's not unique to, to this industry. That's, uh, that's great advice for every job seeker, no matter what age. Um, great advice. Take door number three, stand out, be unique, and uh, certainly that has worked well for you. Bert Levy, uh, again, a very accomplished uh, career in media uh, and uh, now Media Career launch, uh, launch, where you are helping uh, countless people find their way in the industry as well. Bert, you've shared a lot of great advice, but I'm sure many of our listeners have questions. How can they get a hold of you? Um, they can email me at bert at mediacareerlaunch.com. Um, it's probably the best way. You can visit my website at mediacareerlaunch.com. And uh, we help people with everything from placing people to helping them work with uh, right effective uh, cover letters and especially uh uh, follow-up letters is huge. I well, appreciate you coming in, um, Bert Levy. Uh, be sure to check out his website. Do you want to speak to some fantastic entrepreneurs? They'll be joining us right after this quick break. Sean Hannity. A-